Hey guys, I'm Miranda, Millennial Lewis Mitchell here, back with another video. And today's video is going to be about the triage system in the emergency department. If that's of interest to you, or if you want to know more about that, keep on watching. So, the triage system in the ER is how we use to determine level of acuity and who gets seen first. Because in the emergency department, everything is classified on an emergent slash acuity basis. And for those of you who don't know, acuity is the level of how sick a patient is, basically. And because the ER does not close its doors, we can't say no, we're full, we don't have patients. We have to classify patients based on a triage system, which is a five-level system, to determine how sick, how quickly someone needs to be seen. It's almost, if anyone is, has a military background, it's almost like the war type of triage, except we don't just classify people based on like how likely they are to die. <laughs> we just classify how sick they are and how quickly we need to see them. So there's five tiers to the triage system in the emergency department. And for the most part, this triage system is pretty much universal, at least within the United States. We'll start from most sick to the least sick. Most sick is a QD of level one. Level one is if you don't do something right this second, this person will die. <laughs> Typically, it's cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest, GCS less than eight for my ER nurse is GCS less than eight needs intubate. And even if you have to give D50 because your sugar is 30 something. If you don't act now, something is going to happen adversely to the patient. That's level one. Level two is you have a little bit of time to wait, but if you don't do something within the next 30 minutes, they will get work. And with triaging people as level twos, typically those are your shortness of breath, your chest pains, your sickle cell crisis, because they need some type of immediate invention, whether it's excruciating pain, confusion, abnormal bile sign like heart rate greater than 150, O2 less than 90, blood pressure too high or too low, that's pretty much how we classify vital signs in emergency emergency setting is is it too high, too low, and we fix based on whatever is causing that. And then third is triaging level threes. Everything from level three, level four, level five is all based on resources in and out of the emergency department. So a resource for those who don't know is something outside the emergency department that we need to figure out what's wrong with this patient. So anything that needs radiology, lab, consults, each of those things is a different resource outside of the emergency department. So say they need labs and they need a CT scan. So they need lab and they need radiology. Those are two resources. Anything two or more resources is a level three. And at level four, they need one resource. Which these are typically your level four level five are typically your not sick patients. So level four you need one resource, whether it's they just need labs, they just need like a blood work, or they just need an x ray. That's the level four. Level five is you don't need any resource outside the emergency department. So that would be like a suture removal, rabies vaccine series, which you just come to your own, get rabies shot, that's it. Or you need suture removal, staple removal, prescription refill. You need no resource outside the department, that's a level five. And hopefully this helps when trying to determine triage and acuity level of sickness for patients. Obviously level ones and level twos are the sickest of the sick. And those are the ones we really like go quickly towards. You typically won't see an ER nurse running in the emergency department unless someone is like actively coding and even then it's like well, maybe not <laughs> but hope this helps i will talk to y'all in another video and y'all have a good one and with that sign off with millennial news mentor <laughs>